Isaac Cruz has been pushing for a rematch against Gervonta Davis, and now Floyd Mayweather is demanding Gervonta fight Isaac next. Isaac Cruz has been pushing for this fight for quite some time, and he's doing everything he can to secure the fight. Isaac stated, I'm ready to put Mexico on top once again and show that I'm meant to go up against the best. I'm making sure that I'm working harder and smarter and making the most of everything I do in the gym. It's not just about how hard you hit. You gotta be smart and have your punches connect in a way that you meant them to land all along. I want the American fans to know me as well as the Mexican fans, so I have to go up against the very best. First, I want that rematch with Gervonta Davis no matter what. After that, I want to face Devin Haney and Vasyl Lomachenko. Isaac has been calling Gervonta out every chance he gets. We want the rematch with Gervonta Davis. Uh, these fans have been great, and that's why, um, you know, they came out and I, what, what I promised is a depth already, and we did it tonight. Javante shakes his head. I wish we could bring him into the ring. <laughs> Pros believe that the rematch would be an entertaining fight to see, and Mike Tyson even compared Isaac Cruz to himself. Mike stated, If I had to say someone is closest to me, I would say Isaac Cruz. He's short and stubby for his weight class, like I was, and he comes at you. People might think I would say Javante Davis, but Tank reminds me a whole lot of Aaron Pryor. I mean that as a big compliment. You would think Tank is a brawler, but he really is a boxer puncher. He moves well. He moves his head well. He can beat you in all kinds of ways. He can knock you out, or he can box you. Cruz reminds me the most of who I was. He comes at you with bad intentions. Frank Martin is trying to secure some big fights, but he believes that Isaac Cruz is doing the bare minimum he can to secure the rematch with Gervonta and holding everyone up. Frank stated, We'd be a great fight, but I just feel like Isaac Cruz, he got his eyes so set on Tank. He doesn't want to fight nobody who he feels is a threat and can mess up that opportunity. That's what's going to happen if he gets in there with me. That Tank opportunity is out the window. Shakur Stevenson has even mentioned that he's tried to set up a fight with Isaac, but none of his team seemed interested in fighting him. I tried to make it happen because everybody wanted to comment on my opponent and like, oh, he's not that good. He's a bum, this, that, and the third. I tried to fight Isaac Cruz first. He was the first person I tried to fight. They said no. His team said no. His manager said no. His father said no. I, I want to fight dude. If that was next, I, I'll be with it. But I don't think he want to fight me. Gervonta has been dealing with quite a few other pros thinking that they're going to get a piece of him next, though. Shakur Stevenson even tried to say that he was ready to expose Gervonta for the fighter that he really was. Shakur stated, He fights pay-per-view knocking these dudes out. That doesn't take away the fact that I can beat this dude. That dude gets to feeling himself and feeling like he's something that he's not. To the world, he looks like a killer, but I can't wait. I'm gonna expose him, I promise you. Watch, I'm gonna be the person that will expose him. I'm gonna be the person he goes in there and he is not gonna knock out. He gotta go 12 rounds with somebody beating him. He ain't gonna like that. That gonna mess with his heart, with his head, watch. Sean Porter and his crew seem to understand that a fight with Gervonta is more than a fight for the belts, though. Tank is bigger than the belts, and I say this all, he's one of those, there's not a lot of guys in the, in, in the boxing that is, he's one of those guys that's bigger than the belts. The belts need him, he don't need the belts. Mm -hmm. Even so, Gervonta isn't dealing with other boxers calling him out, and he's got to deal with Sean O'Malley calling for a crossover fight as well. Sean stated, I do know how to punch, by the way, if you guys didn't know that. Got a decent right hand. I got a pretty good left hand. Dude, I rocked Peter Yen with a left hand, dropped Peter with my right hand, then dropped Aljo with my right hand, so I can throw a punch or two. That fight's gonna happen someday, I swear to God, dude. When I have these feelings, like these true deep feelings, like I'm gonna be world champ, I would tell anybody, look them in the eyes and tell them that because I know it was going to happen. I have that same feeling about fighting Gervonta, like it's going to happen. None of that matters to Isaac's team though, and they continue to push for the rematch above any other fighter. Sean Gibbons stated, When I travel around the US and Mexico and get stopped by boxing fans, the first question they always ask me is when is Pitbull fighting Gervonta Davis again? It's the only fight they want to see involving Davis. 
Manny Pacquiao has only signed one non-Filipino fighter ever to his MP promotion stable, and that's Isaac Pitbull Cruz Jr., and backs him to win. Javonta Davis has been open to the idea of a rematch as well, and he already knows some of the things that he would do differently. Javonta stated, I'll fight him again, I'll stop him next time, and how can people say I lost this fight? Oh my god, I did a lot of bull in this fight though for sure. Calvin Ford has also been very upfront about who he wants to see fight Gervonta next. Alright, as far as changing your personal preference, who would you want to get in the ring with? Well, I'll probably nobody looking at it. It is all Pitbull. What did you think of his performance against us? Yeah, but he got the job done. The guy was tough. He had a good chance. He did what he was supposed to do. Those and awkward fighters, he had a really weird style. Are those the hardest guys to prepare for? Nah, I'm just basically the division. Pitchers first in the red corner wearing the black and white trunks. Biggest, biggest fight available for Javante Davis outside of Pitbull Cruz. Opposite of no defeats and two draws. Representing Hongito, oh my God. It's hard to say. It's mixed up now, you know. If they wanted to come down and get their bag. Devin, the question. Yeah. Devin moved to 40, but he hasn't relinquished all the boats. So, like I say, if they wanted to come down and get your bag, it's up to them. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Ford. I thank you. Bob Arum was looking to make a fight between Gervonta and Shakur Stevenson, though, but he says that one person in particular is standing in the way. Bob stated, Ask Floyd why it isn't happening. I'm sure the Shakur would jump at the chance of fighting Tank because it is a big money fight, but it takes two to make a fight. Floyd Mayweather has been looking to set up a few different fights with Gervonta recently. At one point, Floyd wanted to see Davis fight Noya in a way. Floyd stated, what I would like to see is if he could fight Dravonta at a catchweight. That'd be a hell of a fight. What I need Inoue to do is do like we do in the US now. I need him to come fight in the US, random blood and urine testing. I think he's a hell of a fighter, hell of a fighter. I won't take nothing away from him, and I like him because he takes a lot of my stuff from my playbook, but that's okay. We're supposed to. You're supposed to take from the greats. Gervonta seems to be really thankful for what he's learned from Floyd, and he continues to look up to him and his judgment. That's little stuff, just like how he's moving, like his his hand placement, like where he's throwing at, and things like that. I like to try to watch him a lot. Not really fight like him, but I try to like, he's he's off the dot, so if I can do it on the south mm -hmm. side, then it's gonna be a little awkward for my opponent. So mm -hmm. I always like to watch Floyd. I think that he's the best, mm -hmm. like the greatest of all time, for mm -hmm. sure. Floyd was disappointed when Gervonta dropped him as his promoter, but he still sees potential in Davis. Floyd stated, you meet a kid and he comes up to you for an autograph. I sign the autograph for him and then I tell him, in a few years, when you get older, I'm going to work with you and make you world champion someday. Years later, I started working with him, helped him, and pushed him to be great. And if he feels like he's grown wings where he can fly and become his own boss, more power to him. Because I didn't get into the sport of boxing after I retired to not want to see fighters grow. If he feels that he can surpass Floyd Mayweather or be the next Floyd Mayweather, I'm here to push you. Go for it. Tim Bradley thinks that Gervonta is following Floyd's money fight matchmaking. Tim stated, They've got him following Money May. Money May, that's the blueprint he's following now. It all boils down to the fighter. You might have a different outlook, and you guys have got to come together and talk about that. If there's something you really want to do, and you want it to be part of your career, and you want to make this fight because it's your legacy and that's what you believe in, then you'll make the fight happen. Isaac Cruz even called out Floyd about setting up a fight, and he stated, You want to do that fight again? Floyd definitely seemed interested, and he's hoping to see it happen. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.